This is an important background. The suicidal path the Church of England has now taken began in the Anglican Communion in 2003 when the Episcopal Church in America consecrated a gay man as a bishop. As the Church of Uganda, we broke the fellowship with them at that time. And we have maintained that they are the ones who have left the Anglican faith and therefore the Anglican communion. In 2008, when the Archbishop of Canterbury refused to discipline the American Episcopal Church for their action, archbishops from Bible-believing Anglican provinces around the world organized the first GAFCON conference to bring us together under the Lordship of Christ and the authority of the Bible. GAFCON has always said, we are not leaving the Anglican communion. We are the Anglican communion. Likewise, the Global South Fellowship of Anglicans has said the same thing. We are not leaving the Anglican Communion. We are the Anglican Communion. There is no way we are working together. The Church of England, together with the Episcopal Church in America, the Anglican Church of Canada, the Church in Wales, the Scottish Episcopal Church, the Episcopal Anglican Church of Brazil, and others. These are the provinces that have walked away, but we pray for them to repent. And if they refuse to repent, then we call on them to have the integrity to form their own Canterbury communion, because what they believe is not Anglicanism, and it's not the faith once delivered to the saints. If they want to take their whole church into the belly of a well, they are free to do that. We are, after all, autonomous Anglican uh, provinces. We think it's a bad idea, but they are free to do it but they are not free to drag the whole Anglican communion with them. 